live. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm just going to server. So, yeah. Rest in peace, Rutger Hauer. Oh, epilepsy warning. Anyone watching? Okay. Let's just get to the menu here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. In the time of your life. <clears throat> So that in that good time, there should be no ugliness or death for yourself or for any life your life touches. Seek goodness everywhere, and when it is found, bring it out of its hiding place and let it be free and unashamed. Uh. Place in matter and in flesh, the least of the values. For these are the things that hold death and must pass away. Discover in all things that which shines and is beyond corruption. Encourage virtue in whatever heart it may have been driven into secrecy and sorrow. Despise evil and ungodliness. Or evil. Please understand. Ignore the obvious, for it is unworthy of the clear eye and kindly heart. A clear eye and a kindly heart. In the time of your life. Ah, shit. Okay. <clears throat> so. Anybody watching, welcome to my next playthrough. And also, say hello to my new headset. I can even do this here. Hold on, where's the mute button? Mic off. Mic on. I can mute it. In it. It's just like a button. But no, this I just got. It was about 100 bucks at... Best Buy. It is a Corsair HS80 RGB USB. As you can see, I have a red light even here. But I finally got a new headset. This thing sounds amazing. And I know anybody who's watching this and hearing me talk, it is so smooth. Like, th this thing is already amazing. It is so comfortable. It's like, I don't even have to adjust it or anything. I just put it on with my hat and it works perfectly. But welcome to Observer. And if anybody does not know what Observer is, Observer is a game by Bloober Team, who is a team of developers that has made a lot of really good uh, horror games over the years. They are specifically known for Layers of Fear, um, which is a game where you play as an insane painter. Um, I think you're trying to cope with, you know, the death of loved ones and a lot of other things and you're trying to complete a painting as well oh yeah also you don't see it but I can control the volume too and it actually shows me which is awesome but um, so they're known for that it, wow that is some scary music ah! sorry if that was loud sounds great though I, I did a couple tests with video and it sounds great Boing. But they've made Layers of Fear. They made Layers of Fear 2. They also made a Blair Witch game. Um, but this game is a cyberpunk horror game where you play as a futuristic cop known as an observer uh, named Daniel Lazarski. Um, the reason why I know this because I have played this game before. Never beat it. Um, I don't remember much at all from it. I legitimately do not. So I'm technically going in as blind as I can go. Um, but the title of this video, as you saw, is Observer Part 1, In Memory of Rutger Hauer. Um, he was an actor, passed away in 2019, and he is the voice and face of the main character of this game that we play as. So, I decided to put in that kind of title in his memory since we're playing a game that he was a part of. Um, 
But either way, I'm very excited. This is the system redux version, which means redone graphics, better lighting, even like brand new character models for certain characters. But I'm gonna stop wasting time and I'm gonna start this game and it's gonna be great. So let's do this. All right. Woo! Fuck, what the hell? Damn it. Okay, hold on. I got this. Uh, all right. Again. <laughs> New game. Let's do this. All right. The reason why I'm not reading is because... The year is 2084. There he is. If they told me what the world will become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, <clears throat> the disease of transition. A digital plague that's what Fuck! I did it again! <sighs> Don't mind me being an idiot. I'm not even seeing anyone in the stream anyway, so what does it matter? Once again. God damn it. New game. I'm not gonna fucking touch anything anymore. I'm done messing with settings. <laughs> I just want the sound to be okay. I mean, it seemed fine whenever I did the test, so I don't even know why I'm messing with that. I think the it's just... The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. Me neither. First, there was the nanophage. I don't believe the you. The disease of transition. No. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then... Came the war. The That's war. great. The great decimation. The sound is like high up and really well, but I can't hear it outside of it. That's great. The West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and <clears> ash. <throat> there was no one left to oppose. But still, we endured. And so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds on your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever is hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozowski. I'm an observer. There's the name. So yes, you play as a futuristic cop known as an observer. You're basically, you'll find out either way, but I might as well explain it. You're basically able to plug into the minds of people and look at their memories in order to get information out so it's really cool so but i'm gonna press uh well i'm gonna press both haha -ha. press lmb and space suck on that Lozarski, you there no fuck you come in Lozarski. no <laughs> Lozarski, you there? Wow, that is crazy looking. It doesn't look too bad on stream, so that's good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Uh, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could've well, that's good. Me. Tidy heart. <laughs> I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Oh. Yes. <laughs> 
kill. <sighs> what what is this video here? We have better like video calls go. on Looks FaceTime. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Probably. Wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. The hell? Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? <clears throat> Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Oh, oh shit. Away from you? <laughs> it's funny. Thought it would be easier your voice after all these years but my off come on my god don't start <laughs> i really thought i could wait my off my gone i can also mute just by moving up my my off hear me my gone but now you can that's so cool you know this headset's so much better than my last one. Oh, so close. To making a difference. To setting us all free. And now it's... Can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam, can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's new. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. Oh. Intro. Let's do it. Sweet. Dr. Octopus. Kind of had a stroke there. I forgot what I was going to say. Is that Hitler? <laughs> I don't think it is. Looked like it, though. Ugh. I'm so excited, especially the fact that I'm doing a playthrough on the Redux version, so this is going to look good. I don't even know what any of those numbers mean. Oh, wow. 
That is cool. Hey. Yeah. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, Tenant. I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. Stay to our business. Just visiting a friend. Friend? Uh, name? Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Oh, apartment 7. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm. Door open. Wow. Here we go. Hmm. Wow, this looks crazy. Oh, it's like amnesia style. Or just, you know. Attention, citizens. This looks so good. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. Fuck you. That was cool. Close door. One through seventeen. So seven I'm trying to find. Five, four, okay. Eight, okay, what the fuck? There's seven. Two, three, four, five, eight. Ah! Oh, it's open. That looks so cool. Jesus, this is, oh my God, I already love this game. Apartment's been trashed, clear signs of a struggle. I need to know, I need to proceed carefully. God knows what I'll find in here. The alarm. What the hell? Dispatch. This is Nazarski, ID six five six two one zero. Dead man. Can anyone hear me? <laughs> Dead bitch found. Okay, then. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. All right, let's get this fucking alarm off. <clears throat> Can't tell this if it's picking up my voice C6 well or not. Five, six, two, one, Seems oh. to be. Setting up a crime scene. I need to check the victim's compact. Six million volts wasn't enough. Start somewhere. Pick 
victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. I appreciate it. Okay, I need to. Okay, how's that? Okay, that's better. No, uh, actually. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Alright. Biovision. The head was removed post mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. ID check failed. Time of death about an hour ago before he called me. Okay. Wow. Again, this just looks great. Processors. Oh, come on. Printed on real paper. A little archaic for you, Adam. Motherboard. Here. Oh. Collateral damage or evidence disposal. Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine. But it's expired. He worked for Chiron? Or did he? Fuck, what the hell? Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this one. Tell that to me. Where are you? A hidden data storage. The encryption is you never cared about this stuff. Oh, I picked it up. Oh, whoa, wires. Oh. Bingo. Oh, let's hack it. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. 
Okay. I'll do a bio scanner on it. Would that work? Nah. Yeah, of course not. Well. Okay, now where do you lead? Get in here. Okay. I see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did I, I just thought of this, wait. I knew it, 1984, it's gotta be. Damn. Knew it. Oh shit. Well, here we go. Personal computer. A holographic library as well. Oh. Oh, synchronite. Synchrozine. Syn oh, synchrozine. I mean. Sweet. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Okay, so this is some ex Oh, this is about the explosion from before. They know. Now you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now, I think they're onto me for real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window. Just stay in there if you can't guarantee my safety. Then out. I'm not, I got problems left as it is. HN. Documents. They're all corrupted. I've deactivated the equipment security system, leaving the crime scene. Sweet. Okay. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. Remain in your apartments and await further instructions. Jesus. Attention tenants. This is a sanctioned lockdown procedure. There is no need for concern. Welcome to the hospital. No need for concern, my ass. Stop now. Jesus. What's in here? That's poop. Ew. It might be a developer. It's cool. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, tenant number two. Hello. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh, God, they're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. No one's coming. 
Alright. Well, nothing in there. Let's see if we can talk to some more people. Okay, well, tenant number one isn't in. Tenant number two won't talk to us now. Let's try tenant number three. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment seven? Seven? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here alone with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. Why are my hands shaking? Oh, poor guy. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. <laughs> I feel so okay. bad. <laughs> I'll just sit here. Hold on. God. I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Just take it easy. Hang in there. Let's check out four and five. Ah! Uh -huh. I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man! I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. Mike off. I got nothing to tell you. Mike on. There we go. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't want to talk, because... Yep. Oh, well. Let's talk to Six, who lived right across from him. Hi, this is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> We hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we... Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> okay. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh God, they're here! The cleaners are here! <laughs> ah, we got more! Nice. Oh yeah, because it was 1 through 17. Let's see. Hey PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. You know how kids are these days. Do I? Yeah, you gotta be strict with them. <coughs> they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors. Keeps them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on cheap American crap. Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch. I thought I told <coughs> you to shut up! Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. 
Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very... memorable. Well, could you keep it down a bit? The building is under lockdown. People are on edge as it is. Is that so? You think just because you're a cop, you get to boss me around? Tell me how to rate my kids? If you're doing a shit job, yeah. yeah I see that. I got my pride, you know. I'm not just some bottom feeder. I work for the corporation, too. You do? Yeah. I'm in uh, the uh, repossession department. Daddy's so. gonna get you. He'll cut you up like those other suckers. Dad, Tommy's trying to scare me. What did I say? Don't make me come over there. So how's that working out for you, Repo Man? Best fucking job in the world. They just give me a name and the implant serial number, and I take back what's owed. You make it sound so easy. Whatever they refuse to give it back. <laughs> That's when I get my toolbox. I'm telling you, the look on their faces, it never gets old. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. <laughs> you bet your ass. <laughs> I think we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, let's talk to tenant number 10 now. Let's see. Nope, they're not in. or just not wanting to answer. Alright, let's try tenant 11. Nope. Ten at twelve. Nope. How about oh wait, this isn't a tenant. Never mind. Oh. There we go. Thirteen, let's see. Nope. No uh, I don't even see this here. Oh. How about 15? 16? Come to the door, please. Ha ha! Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you got one. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Okay. 
You need to find the woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HN. Oh, I can scan these. Holocom panel. Oh, so I can just... Hmm. Jennifer left the door open. Oh. Crystal computer. Nanophage and I. Anything biological or personal computer? Brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Save like us from. Looks like the guy's getting some different warnings. Ravinsky. Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment ah. one And Helena Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. There's the basement. With fire and so... What? That's cool. So level three. That's pretty damn cool, though. Alright. So, floor one. Oh. Out. You again. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know <coughs> what you are. <coughs> oh, yeah? My golf. Mike on. I'm back. To get into his head. <sighs> you fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this <clears> drunk <throat> in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Barreled through armor. Mike Sorry, off. I didn't mean to bring back memory. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy, and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent My outbreaks? Gone. No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. Old, big ones. Bad. The implants. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, <clears throat> accommodate, alleviate. 
Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. Speaking of wars and stuff, I just remember the fact that I have Arma 3, which if anyone doesn't know, it's a very immersive tactical military shooter. Um, I don't know. I could never find good servers for it, but it's like now that I'm thinking about it, I need to try and uh, get back into it. Maybe. Just to have a game I could play on my own time, so. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? <clears throat> Yeah, Tennant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Systems. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, uh, bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. to meet you Janus <laughs> alright so now we have everywhere unlocked in the building so let's get to the first floor so that way we can find this woman I just trying to get that open okay <clears throat> so where do I ah is this it Aha, it is. There's a basement. That's creepy. We're going up. Going up. What was the uh, apartment numbers again? 106 and 104. Let's see which one we get to first. Zarsky, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Shh. <coughs> your room, kid. Go play the <coughs> runaway galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern. I don't like his tone. You very <clears throat> You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case. For the sake of the other tenants. I don't like his tone. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? Uh, I don't know. We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean oh. Oh. You're immaculate. <gasps> Children of the immaculate. Oh. Yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. That's why you're acting so stupid and weird. Well, I've never been called to a <clears throat> crime scene where one of your kind was involved. 
That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? Not what he said. No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. So they don't have any implants. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable, but it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. <sighs> You're not going to get preachy on me, are you now? <laughs> I apologize, officer. That certainly wasn't my intent. How do you make a living anyway? Not many jobs left. That's outside my room. Require some basic augmentation. <laughs> We're a close-knit okay. community, officer. We help each other out. My God. As one should. My God. All right. My golf, so, my gone. Mr. Karski. My golf. Speed officer Lazarski. My gone, my golf, my gone. <laughs> Sorry if that was annoying. I just <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Oh shoot. I'm the developer. <clears throat> Jesus, what the fuck? When Fucking see. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Like to leave. Oh, thanks, bud. Jeez. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, I don't even have one. Um. I don't have a hollow cam at all. Seven. Hello. Anyone in there? Yes. I'm with the KPD. Need to ask you some questions. Oh, and who's your friend? Huh? Friend? <clears throat> That's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. Alrighty. She fucking stoned. <laughs> she was high on robo weed. What my dad? Shit. 
shit, I can't find it. Oh. I'm watching you, I have for some time, and though you might not yet realize we're meant to be together, it's a shrine I give to you. What the hell? Ooh! <clears throat> Level four! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, wait. Shit. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. Go see. This is tenant seven, one oh seven, one oh six. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right, uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you check your compass for connections? Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. No compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Oh, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Yes, I do mind, and yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter? Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? 
I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago in the plague. Ah. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? No, it would not. Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Huh. <clears throat> yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away. One of them <sighs> and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. That's awful. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation. The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no back with you. Yep, it's not her. KPD? Ah. Anyone in there? <clears throat> Can you repeat that? Put a cop on it. What do you want? You notice there's been a lockdown. Lockdown? You got the fucking The fucking thing. I didn't quite catch that. I did. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Fine. Just stay in your apartment. <laughs> Suddenly, like a kid on Xbox 360, his mic is just so busted. <laughs> Oh, even the shadows of my character look amazing. Ah, there we go. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, another device. One and one oh four. It's a bathroom. Hey, you I can hear you out there. Help me, please. Sir. What's wrong, sir? Oh I heard this awful noise. What's going this on? awful noise? It's been a lockdown. <clears throat> a lockdown? No. Oh God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> Sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Oh. Uh, that's your condition. I, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm. Anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> that was 101. What's with the... Do I need to take my medication? 
Probably yeah. should. Strain level decreased. That's much better. Much, much better. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Anything I don't know nothing. Unusual. Other than the lockdown, I mean. No, I fucking well, know nothing. A couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off. And it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop, but judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing right. for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? Ever see the husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> okay, so... Did I check two? Oh, that's why. Two doesn't have a... Doesn't have a... Oh, wait, no, they do. Ah! Hey, PD. I just skipped like over ask them. you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. <laughs> you seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Um, sure. <laughs> well, there you go. Nothing to worry about, then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? <clears throat> Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. There we go. What kind of noises, <clears throat> sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean... Those two are always at each other's throats. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too. Moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? 
Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay. How about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> well, that was certainly uncalled for. Really? Good day to you, officer. Certainly uncalled for, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. What was uncalled for is what you were saying. Saw this coming. Anyone here? Hello. Iron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Holy shit. Use it. A second victim. Badly injured, but still breathing. Oh sh he's still alive? Holy fuck. <clears throat> responsible for this if you help me find him don't try to talk there's another way Amir Novak Citizen ID 5302139584022. Citizen Class C. Date of birth May 19th, 2052. Gender A1. Occupation not applicable. Hmm. Alright, let's connect. Commencing neural interrogation. Oh shit. Um. Scary. Cam, too fat. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, holy shit. I will open the door. No. Okay, Jesus. All right. Hello. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, shit. Whoa, okay. What the fuck? This way. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, thanks. It's him doing deals, isn't it? Because this is all meant... Um, anyone who's watching this at any point, if you don't understand what's going on, this is meant to be Amir's memories that I'm in. What the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day. It's like, obviously, it's really glitchy and psychological. It's kind of the point. Oh, shit, 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 shit. The fuck? The fuck? Jesus. Oh wait, is this... Oh, shit. This fucking slop again. Spoon! Call soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. What the fuck is happening? Run to the light! Ow. I got beat in the face. What the hell? God, this is so good, too. <laughs> oh, one viewer. Whoever that is, welcome. And if you notice, because I explained this at the beginning, but obviously you weren't here. Whoever it is that joined, welcome. And as you can tell, I, I have a new headset. And the mic sounds incredible. Sounds goddamn amazing. Too bad. Oh god. Let me, let me out. No. Fresh meat. You won't lack a thing. You're in my world now. I need to get out. I can't take uh -huh. it anymore. It's gonna be all right. It's, it's gonna be. The hell? Give it to me now. Fuck yes. Finally. <laughs> so 
I'm kind of fucking laughing gas. This dude hides a kite. Oh shit, I'm running away. I'm running. I'm running away. I can't see. Do you remember the night we met? Oh god, okay. It's hard to forget. So I was at a party. right through you I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos you were like a big wounded animal lost alone hey at least you knew what you were getting into yeah I, I guess, guess I, I did. did well that was Daniel's what that's confusing what the fuck sickness and in health forsaking all others to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part get a tattoo or no. uh, I'm getting visions with my own ex-wife in the game okay Oh shit, Phil. Hot water. Dan, what? Oh no. She was a part of the plague, wasn't she? No. Oh, that's terrible. was that so she didn't kill him then what the hell was that thing I just saw what the hell neural interrogation aborted subject expired during questioning Emergency extraction procedure successful. Synchronization. 
prison refilled. Okay, I need to take that. Yes. Sinkers injected. Strain level decreased. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and explore the apartment and everything, and then after that, I'm gonna call it there. Some strange looking for now. Hair. Not human. Not animal. But now at this point, we know that it's it's switching over to the psychological horror. Now we got to see that happen. Critical great inhaler. Lousy ink. Pattern. Probably got me in prison. Wedding tattoo on his left hand. This could help me find the the cutting oh. pattern matches the one from previous victims. Blood. Morphine. Some under the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. Credit chip, handy for storing off the grid currency. Is that a printer? No, it's a personal computer. Okay. So, uh, what are you? Another frame. Looks like a guy from the tattoo shop. Turn this on. Bam! Working with Chiron. Data showing again. Hmm. Curriculum Vitae. Working copy. Uh, I wonder if it's something to try and get Chiron to hire him. Woo! With fire and sword spiders. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Damn it. And even then I should. Yep. I forgot to get that one. Um, let me think. 
trying to think and decide. It's like, do I really want to stop now? I might as well. We got through one of these investigations. So I think for now, I'm going to call it there. Um, I think later tonight, definitely, I'm going to come back and play more. Because one, I'm so happy I have this new headset because it sounds amazing. And everything in the game sounds incredible. But even more reason is just because this game is already amazing so far. Um, we just, you know, had our first, I guess, uh, memory vision adventure thingy. I don't even know what they call it. It's uh, interrogation, I think. Or like information extraction. So, But with that said, um, I hope anyone who is watching this at any point enjoyed um, I'm just having a great time as always. I mean, literally the whole point of this is I always just like to be able to record whenever I play games. Um, that's how I like to enjoy big games now. So, But with that said, um, I'm going to stop it there. And again, hopefully everyone enjoyed. And as always, I will see everyone in the next stream. So, goodbye!